Hello everyone, and welcome to a different video um, than what I've done before. As a kid, <laughs> I'll start from the beginning, I've all never really been much interested in, in Disney princesses and that sort of uh, thing. But there was one movie that caught my eye, and that was Beauty and the Beast in 1991. Um, but it wasn't about the story or the beast or Belle, it was the library and I think it is for a lot of people but it wasn't because there were so many books, it was because of how it was stylized and the curves of the staircases coming around and the curved wall full of books and you know and then I sort of started really looking at the castle even way back then. I, that is the Disney castle that has always stuck in my mind and I think it's the whole I think that is what started my sort of architecture obsession off but I didn't really know it or understand it especially back then I didn't understand it but looking back now I think that is the sort of pivotal thing that started it all um, and Disney being Disney have released a castle collection of like products that you can buy and it's a bi-monthly which means so they've released this one on the 4th of April um, so which means the next one will be about the 4th of June time I'm guessing I, I, I'm not fully sure but it it's uh, skips a month um, and they're doing 10 releases of the different castles featured in um, their movies the classic movies and the reason why I sort of got this collection um, in fact no let me unbox it first let me unbox the couple of products that I got because I didn't get everything because some of them are quite pricey the, I'm guessing they're really nice but I don't know I didn't get those ones but yeah let me unbox the items first um, give you a quick first impressions of what I think about the products um, and then tell you what I'm thinking about doing um, in regards to architecture relating to the Disney castles. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this. I am wearing gloves because I just want to be, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, I've never actually had a delivery from Disney before, so the packaging is nice. Um, if you can dream, you can do it. Always remember this whole thing was started by a maps quote from Walt Disney. Um, so yeah. Oh, the inside of the box is nice. I'm guessing this will be great. Oh, oh, it's like the cartoon strips. This would be fantastic for, you know, if you've got kids, they can use it as like coloring pages. Oh, hell, adult kids, what can I say? But yeah, let's take away the packaging. It's quite a big box to say I only got the smaller items. Um, so, take that out first, then that. Um, this is an extra item. Get rid of that because that's probably got my address on it. Um, but yeah, the box is fabulous. Might think of something to do with this, I don't know. We shall see. So I'll just put that on the floor for now. Um, I did buy this extra item um, just because I wanted to top up my uh, postage because I didn't want to be charged for I think it's four pound ninety five for UK postage, so I was like I might as well spend two pound more <laughs> and get an item and get free delivery. So I got this, which is Collect All Six um, VHS mystery pins, because um, I do like the pins. They don't take up too much space, and they are quite a nice little item. Um, pin trading twenty twenty and you don't know what pin you're going to get so we shall see what's in this oh comes in a black plastic thing oh 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 the nightmare before christmas let's see if i zoom in not zoom in i'm doing it again for focusing but if you can see that, it's actually like a VHS. I was just expecting it to be like a flat 
pin with the print of the VHS on it, but it actually is. And it's quite heavy and chunky as well, which is why there's two pin heads on the back. Um, let's just remove the Mickey rubber pin heads. I'll just pop them there. So it's all white and you can see that it's Nightmare Before Christmas and then it says the serial number and the Disney 2020 pin logo. Wow. There's part of me that wants to open this up and see like a VHS inside, especially with those things. It's making me think, but no, I don't think you can open it up. But that would have been quite neat, but I'm already impressed by this because I just was expecting it to be just a cheap flat thing. But the fact that they've gone into the detail of um, making it a 3D object is just it's fantastic because when I started watching the Disney movies, they were on VHS because yes, I am that old. <laughs> So I'm quite impressed by that. I thought it was just going to be a flat thing. So let's just pop that to the side because that's not what the whole thing's about. The whole thing about is about these things. So let's take um, out of the plastic stuff. Oh, already I am in shock at the size of this pen. This thing is huge. Let's take off the plastic wrapping. Hopefully this is the compostable stuff. So much harder to do things with gloves. So much harder. I don't think I'm gonna be successful. Oh, there we go, there we go. Open it up. Look at the size of this thing. That's like, even this is quite a big pin. Um, sometimes they're usually quite smaller, but look at that in relation to the size. This thing is huge. But this is just, oh wow, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if it will focus. Are you going to focus? Are you going to touch the screen with the gloves? Yes, you are. But look, can you see there's like a, f a raised 3D effect? And there's texture as well on the actual pin. This is fantastic. And then if we open it up, can we open it up? Uh, yes, no. Oh, yep, yeah, we can open it up to reveal the interior. This is exquisite. I'm, I, I'm already impressed by this. This is super nice. So yes, this is the Disney Castle Collection. Um, there's one of ten. So this is Cinderella's Castle, first of all. Yeah, so let me read you the back. So the Disney Castle Collection is a series of ten bi-monthly releases celebrating the storied spaces, spaces? spaces of our most beloved heroines. Each collection includes never-before-seen portrayals of enchanted dwellings featured in their tales. Live in the magic by collecting them all. Mm -hmm. This is just exquisite. So in each month, uh, not each month, each bi-monthly, there's this pin, um, a miniature castle, and then a massive castle, a jigsaw puzzle, and a uh, notebook journal. Um, I think that's it. So that is the pin, which I am super impressed by. Um, there's also a pin display ca case as well, which I've ordered as well, but that'll come later. Um, I won't do a video on that because I'm sure there'll be lots of YouTube videos about that. Um, so yeah, let's dive into the next one. But look at this box. It's so shiny. And it's like a chunky book as well. Oh, I like the graphic for Cinderella and her castle. That is really nice. And obviously it's limited edition, limited release ornament. Um, oh no, they put a sticky thing on. I'm hoping it's not gonna tear the box. If 
it does, I'm gonna cry. I believe they put two sticky things on. Yay, what fun. <laughs> oh, no. I think this one's already been opened previously. That's why they've dinged it. So it's got like a quick thing. Uh, then it's got a ribbon to make sure you don't open it too wide because that's how you crack the spines. But then look at this. Let's get it open. Got a plastic thing to make sure it doesn't fall around. Let's get it out of the box. So it's nice and cushioned in here. So it's a nice box, really nice packaging. But look at this thing. This is super duper cute. Wow. Just look at the detail on this thing. I mean, considering the size of how small it is, especially compared to the other one, this is fantastic. But look at the little clock as well, all the way on the top there. Can you see that? Is it focusing? This is super duper cute. And I'm glad, I was a bit worried about getting the small one because I thought, eh, it's not gonna be that nice, but this is actually really, really nice. Um, and they put the little bow on so you can use it as a hanging ornament. Um, then at the bottom, it just gives you the made in China usual stuff. Surprised they didn't put uh, a marking for the limited edition thing there. But this is super duper nice. I really like this. So, I've got the pin and the miniature castle. And now in hindsight, because I had an idea of what to do with these things, is I'm thinking, and I'm asking you, the viewer, to vote whether or not I should actually turn these into art prints, but very sort of architecture styled i.e as if i was putting planning permission in to build this into our castle and do like the front elevation and a section if it's not going to be too crazy which i'm going to imagine it is going to be with these beautiful things um so sort of like what's in here but actually as an architectural drawing um and then perhaps I could also make my own pins from those as well. Um, and then obviously stylize them on each different castle. So vote, I'll put a vote up in the corner for you guys to vote whether or not you would like to see me create my own art prints from those and possibly some other pro products if everybody likes them. Um, so the art prints will be my own art style slash architectural uh, rendering and technical drawing um, so they won't be as cartoonish well maybe they will I don't know we'll have to see how they develop um, but in hindsight I was also thinking especially seeing other people's unboxing videos um, for the notebook and actually use each mom's notebook as a sketchbook and show my development process and my research process of how I get to the final prints so if you if that's something that you want to see and see how I develop in that, um, vote up in the corner, and I'll sort of have a look at the votes sort of in two weeks, and then if there's a lot of people that want to see it, then I'll start developing it and posting updates on social media or make a separate video of how my development has gone. Um, because I want to try and do it within the two month limit. So this is already quite late because obviously things are getting delivered late. Um, but I suppose I could start researching before because obviously there's the movie I can watch. Um, so we'll see. But I would like to try and get each print done in the two months. So when Frozen's just about, which is the next one in June is the Frozen Castle. Um, when that one's about to be released, I can then say show you what I've done for Cinderella's. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different to what I normally do, but I don't know. I think it might be quite fun exercise and also keeping my skills up to date and also even exploring something different as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this video useful. 
and give me a thumbs up if it's something you like and you want to follow. Um, if you do want to see more of these videos, um, please subscribe. Um, I'll create a separate playlist as well, just for the castle collection. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, happy architecting.